It went from the Facebook to just Facebook, and now it's Meta. Today, the social media giant announcing a change in both its corporate name and its future. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman. And Scott, what does this mean? I was actually just on my Facebook page, and everything looked normal. Worked normal, seemed normal. Yes, and Janelle and Jessica, it is the same. There is still a Facebook and an Instagram and a WhatsApp. They all remain, but the overall company that owns them is now Meta. And for those of you investors, the company is getting a new stock symbol, MVRS, as in Metaverse. Call it a new direction, call it marketing. Seems to be a bit of both. Just make sure to call it Meta. What part of the solar system are we talking about? Saturn. To better embrace the virtual world he calls the metaverse, Mark Zuckerberg announced today he's changing his company's name. It is time for us to adopt a new company brand to encompass everything that we do. And that name is Meta. After 17 years of being called Facebook, even the sign has changed outside Meta corporate headquarters. When I think of name changes, what often comes to mind for me is fresh starts. And given the recent scandals, missteps, and criticism, at least one marketing pro tells us a fresh start is what the company needs. They don't want to have their new direction and their new vision tainted with a lot of the old heritage and legacy and history of all the things that have been dominating the news. And what of this metaverse? An executive and investor in the space says it's really not all that new. Yeah. If you think about it in general, we've been in a, you know, quasi metaverse for for a decade now, right? Think about how much time you spend glued on your phone, on Instagram, right? He's got a good point, and extra points if you've read Snow Crash or Neuromancer. I should also mention that Facebook talks about the metaverse as if it's a new platform. And like Facebook or Instagram itself, that means a new batch of privacy concerns facing us and our kids in the future. So, Jessica, be prepared. Okay, thank you, Scott. Good point there. In fact, Facebook has engendered scrutiny almost since its launch in 2006. A 2011 FTC investigation made the company address the tracking and sharing of user data. Then Donald Trump's presidential win in 2016 raised allegations that Facebook influenced the election. 2017, Facebook was accused of supporting ethnic cleansing in Myanmar when it allowed the misuse of its platform to incite violence. 2018, when the world learned Cambridge Analytica gathered 87 million Facebook profiles and was accused of using them to manipulate the UK's Brexit vote and the U.S. presidential election. 2020, open with the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Documents released by whistleblower Francis Hogan are shedding new light on Facebook and the spread of misinformation.